Hey there everybody, my name is Adam Stevenson and today I have two fantastic tips. These are my two favorite tips, number one tips to help you improve turning your hips more efficiently in your golf swing so that you will be able to hit the ball more solidly and more consistently. So let's go get started. Okay, so with the first tip here, I want you to get a bucket of balls, okay? Something with a little bit of weight in it. You can use a gym at home there. If you've got a gym in your fitness studio, use a medicine ball. Something with two or three kilos weight, something a little bit of weight, not too much, but just enough to make you feel as though you're, you're using your body correctly. Here I've got a bucket of balls on the driving range. So what I want you to do is take your golf posture. So taking your golf posture, it's pretty much, you know, setting up to the ball as you should do. Now. You might want to go back and check some of my earlier videos there where I talk a little bit about how to gain good posture in a golf swing, but we're not going to talk about that today. Today we're just talking about turning the hips properly. So we're setting up to the ball with good golf posture and we've got the bucket of balls here in our hand and I want you to try and lift the ball up to your chest and then just turn. But it's very important here when you turn that you don't lose your angles in your body. I want you to try, lift the bucket of the balls up to your chest, turn, and then your lead shoulder kind of dips down under your chin here so that you're maintaining the good angles in your body. Okay, now you have to be a little bit creative. Try and imagine there's an electrical fence just on the outside of your trail foot. Bucket of balls up to the chest, lead shoulder down, and then try and avoid having your hip go into that electrical fence. We don't want to get electrocuted when we're training for golf. Not fun. Okay, so bucket of balls up to the chest, turning, and now I want you to imagine that you're placing the bucket of balls on the other side of the electrical fence here on a table, just like a table over there. So you're just imagining there's a table. You're gonna turn your hips to avoid being electrocuted and maintaining your angles. Place the bucket of balls over there. And the cool thing with this is you might actually feel that you have some muscles in here. We of course know them as core muscles, but I want you to feel there's a little bit of activation here. You're gonna feel it for sure. So do this exercise maybe 10 times just to get that feeling of how to turn your hips properly so you can create a little bit of stability here and utilize your body more efficiently. That's the first tip. Second tip, well, a little bit easier. All you have to do is in your golf swing, imagine that there's somebody that's got really, you know, they got their finger around here in your back pocket and they're pulling the back pocket right around behind here so that you're actually pretty much getting this feeling of turning your hips as you swing back instead of swaying to the side. So the really good feeling here, somebody's got a hold of your back pocket, your trail hip pocket, and they're pulling that pocket around so that you're able to turn your hips more efficiently in your golf swing. I really hope these two hips, uh, tips can help you out. Uh, once again, my name is Adam Stevenson. Thank you so much for following me today. Best of luck out there. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.